Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Good morning, children. Old tired Cappy. Um, I do not have the <clears throat> exact precise answer for this one. I think I do. But if there's anybody out there in the military who might have another opinion, please put your comments down below. Help out the kid here. Uh, should I enlist, keep looking for a job, or go for a master's? Keep me anonymous. I have a BA in finance with a 2.95 GPA. I already know your thoughts on finance and a low GPA. So funny that 2.95 is a low GPA. I'm not paying you for that. This week I found out I was not chosen to be a commission as an officer in the Army due to my low GPA and low P PT physically. Well, guys, you got you to... Gotta, I, th I remember when 3.0 was a good a good GPA now with all the great inflation because no one can have the hurt fees. The average that was accepted was a 3.4 and a 270 out of 300 physical. The PT, I think physical, I scored 220. My ASAP score is 140, which is 98th percentile, and with that I will qualify for all the jobs except for doctor, lawyer, of course. My dad joined the Army as an officer and both my parents think I should not enlist and just keep looking for a job. I, well, okay. Uh, they also suggested doing ROTC for a master's degree and become an officer that way. If I enlist, I would do an 18 times contract, which is a special forces recruit contract with a six year commi commitment, 40,000 bonus. So I'd be an E4 for 18 months and then promoted to an E5, both ranks because of my college degree. If I enlist, I do plan on, hang on, if you enlist, if I do enlist, I plan on submitting an application for officer school as soon as possible. My financial grad, my fiance, We'll graduate with a bachelor's. Now, oh, here comes the. Of course. Always gotta make noise. <coughs> My fiance will graduate with a bachelor's in engineering this spring and will have, un have limited job opportunities if I join the Army. Why would she have limited job opportunities? I mean, if you're gonna be shipped out, especially if you go special forces, you know, it doesn't matter where she's working, you're gonna be dragged out and shipped off somewhere. I would leave in a couple months for training if I enlist by a meeting with a recruiter this next week. I'm supposed to have a decision. Let me know what your asshole consulting prime overnight delivery rates are. Booty, booty, boo, booty, booty, bee. And so I, I was a little confused. I say, so it is my understanding they will take you as an enlisted and you'd battle your way up to officer or you join, join ROTC as you pursue a master's degree and then join as an officer, correct? And also, what would you get your master's in? So then he pays. He says, correct. I can enlist today and then submit an application to be an officer once I'm done with training. With this option, I start my time towards retirement now and can always get a master's for free if I don't become an officer by the time my contract is up. I get my master's in accounting with the time I gain my CPA license while doing ROTC, which will pay for a degree and guarantee a commission as an officer. <coughs> with this option, my time towards re retirement will not start until after I graduate, which will be about three years from now. I remain in my limbo state until next fall when I can get into an accounting program. Third option is to keep looking for a job in the private sector. I, you can, okay, you, you might as well if you enlist tomorrow. I wouldn't, you know, you, there's no reason. I, you're not going to find a job worth shit with a finance degree. Trust me, I know. Um, it, that's a tough call, and I, and I don't know. I would not. I would either join up immediately uh, or go the ROTC route. I'm leaning towards the ROTC route. Um, because if you failed your physical, I'm going to assume that's what PT is. Uh, boy, you're, you're going to have a long way to go get in the Special Forces. And you already do have a degree. You would get your Master's. You would be able to sit for the CPA while you're doing ROTC. It'll pay for the degree. And, you, and here's the thing. Your typical young me. I was going to say dumb kid, but then that would reflect that I was dumb at one time, and I was. Oh, I, I won't make it to retirement, dude. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. Retirement sucks, okay? Um, no, I'll be three years behind. And, um, God, enlist or officer after. You know what? If we're looking long term, um, I, would, I would do the ROTC. I would do that. Because in three years' time, you're going to have your master's. You're going to have, hopefully, your CPA. you got to sit and work for somebody for a year. Um, you'll be an officer. You have all the benefits of the military. Um, 
and even you, know, you do your stint in the military and you don't like the military, you're done. But then you walk away, CPA and all that. You go enlisted. I mean, you can pursue your masters while you're in the military, but if they ship you out, especially special forces, and you're you know looking at a sniper rifle uh, out in the middle of the desert, you're not going to be studying accounting. Um, and you may say, "Oh, postpone me three years." But I, I, I just think, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go more the ROTC route. That's what I would do. You want to become an officer? This is the way for you to become an officer. <coughs> the I'm not against enlisting, you know. And this is why I'd like the other opinion of other men. As just as far as logic, as my logic takes me, I, I would go the ROTC officer route because of what you're going to have at the end of three years or four years or whenever your your thing is up with uh, serving as an officer. The enlisted. Um, you don't get to continue studying. You, see, here's the other thing is you need a degree. You need a real degree. Uh, unfortunately, finance is not a real degree. And if you go enlisted, you're, you're not going to get that degree as quickly as if you're paid to study in the uh, training corps. Um, then if you're, you know, hey, we're deploying you here, we're deploying you there. Do you like bugs? Because that's where we're going. They got lots of bugs where we're going. I, I, I'm leaning towards the officer route. But I would, I would talk to some other... You know, talk to some military guys. Look at the commentary below. And that's what I would recommend you do. So, All right. You guys have questions. Cappy's got answers. Over at assholeconsulting.com, where we will make sure you don't make bad mistakes and bad decisions. And then, oh, my God, somebody bail me out the taxpayer. I'm a millennial. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on an anti-millennial kick. I've been looking up the data for the book I'm writing. My God, what a piece of shit generation. So, all right. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.